Alrighty, y'all, let's get back to some Alone in the Dark. It takes a couple seconds for it to pop up on my end. It doesn't know that I'm live. Usually I'll have to back out of it and go back in it. There we go. Now it's registered. All right, y'all. Let's get it continued. What the fuck was that? So we got to go back to the house, right? Like we just have to. I would assume we have to, because there's stuff in there we need to get. Um, I don't remember what I was doing. We escaped him. We got this. We got a ring. For some reason we're upstairs still. We're gonna go ahead and finish this one up in performance mode. For this one I think the performance mode actually adds to it and don't just add frame rate. I think it actually adds a lot of pop and stuff. See little details like that. I like how she like runs her hands along the I need the key. Okay, we don't got this key yet. If we could just get rid of Jeremy, everything will go back to normal. That reminds me. I saw Miss Emily earlier. You remember her? You know she's Jeremy's niece. She's looking for me. That's right. She's helping us. In her own way. As long as she don't stand in the way of the mother of a thousand yards. <laughs> I don't think she knows or cares about that. She just here for Jeff. <laughs> I've been more worried about that Detective Carmen fella. He's been snooping around asking all kinds of questions. God, it hurts. I wish you would stop doing that. Gives me the heebie-jeebies. Yeah, we're definitely going to play as Carnby, too. Well, when all this fails, we can look at the map and see what we... Doesn't show nothing. Stairwell's locked. That one's bolted. Hmm. Might not be nothing here for us. Something just happened in here. It's blocked. Oh, we gotta find that chest. What's this? We must have faith that Jeremy's pact with the Dark Man is a bluff. If we are lucky, our visitors will find him and prove it's all nonsense before night falls. What is true is our attempt to call on her. Too many things have happened for this evening to be in vain. Think of Jack and Cassandra. Should I turn my light on so I'm not alone in the dark? Circumstances I can't understand. Grace is our goat. Nah, let's horns. turn the light off. She knows it and will play the role. You must talk to your brother, Batiste. I worry that he will fail us. Mrs. Thompson. 
We gotta go find that, um, chest. It's in the library, wasn't it? There's another safe in here somewhere. I forgot where. Lunacy in the Astarte Artist Colony. A monograph by... Yeah, that one's too long. We're not going to listen to all that. See, there's all these papers in here now. Freaking safe. Not sure I want to go outside. I can see the room in my head, I just don't know where the room's at. It's blocked. right now. I should find another way. I think Dr. Gray is in there. Maybe I can go snoop around his office then. Yeah, well, where are we supposed to go then? Do not disturb. Okay. We're going to take the lower path, I think.
Mrs. Thompson, I understand the last week has been busy. Under these circumstances, I find it important to remind you that Dorsetto's concerns are not a public matter, nor is it something that should upset you. Please continue your excellent work, and don't spend a thought on the death of Perosi, or, more importantly, the suicide of Cassandra Beauregard. They should mean nothing to you or the staff. I rely on your loyalty, and trust that your close kinship with the Tabois siblings will keep Tercetto's secrets hidden. Dr. Gray. So you gotta find an alternate route for here somewhere, and I've looked like everywhere, I don't know where else to go. But it will let me go, I'm not sure where to go. It wants you to find an alternate route to Dr. Gray's office, find out what he knows, but... Find an alternate way into the stair hall. That's what we're looking- oh wait a minute. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. I know where to go. Uh, there was, um, where's the, uh, this out here. I know where to go, guys. I know where to go. Again, we're going to go ahead and keep this one in performance. I just think it adds a lot to the game. This is where we go, up the ladder. 
It has a little more oomph, a little more pop, I think. I love the atmosphere in this game, dude. Oh shit, what was that? I love it. They haven't put out a survival horror like this in a long time, so it's it's pretty sick. There we go. This is where we needed to be. And I gotta find that other safe. I need to find the safe. I think it's I need the key. God that door's still locked. There's still a lot to do in this little mansion. I want to find the safe first, though. I think it's back here. Hello? Mr. Waits must have had a spare key to Dr. Gray's office. Yeah, see, this is safe right here. I don't know the combination. Wait, maybe I do. Yeah, we do. We have to figure out the combination. Hold on, guys. I have uh, notes written down, so I have to go back through my notes, and I'm taking pictures of all this crap, and... So I looked at my phone because a lot of it's like Roman numerals and this and that and I'm just like, okay, I got to figure out. That's what we used to do back in the game, the, the day at least I did. Uh, code? Oh wait, I forgot, what was the code? Um, yeah, because it's all Roman numerals, so I have to look at my notes and stuff I took pictures of, and it helps me. You know what I mean? get where's my code see I don't know all these Roman numerals not by heart at least what's nine Okay, so we go nine, one, and I think it's three. Is this? It worked. Oh, there we go. Uh oh, baby's not happy. She's taking the bath. Sweet. The last guest in the empty room suffered from severe maladaption. I must write this down, because if I understand the condition sufficiently, it could make me deny this fact at a later date. And there is reason for me to think I may come to suffer the consequences from this dysfunction, as some who came in contact with the guest seemed to adopt a new worldview, in which everything was predetermined but broken. Upon accepting this worldview, some memories became unmanageable and later rejected. I do not know what this means. I cannot even remember the fate of the guest. I think they were simply misplaced one day and forgotten. Uh, just like all documents pertaining to this guest, they have all been destroyed or they never existed in the first place. Who wrote this? There has never been a guest in the empty room.
Here we are, Dr. Gray's office. Now let's see if we can find some answers. I have finished tidying up Miss Beauregard's belongings. I will leave it to you to contact her agent and have them collect her things. I found one of Grace's drawings she might want back, along with this key in her room, which I believe you've been looking for, Mrs. Thompson. Dearest Dr. Manzetti, I find myself in a losing battle with my patient. As I've disclosed in my previous letter, his delusions have him completely captured. It's bad enough that he is torturing himself with paranoia, but his madness turns out to be quite persuasive to others, effectively laying the ground for mass delusion. I am writing to you in hope that you can give me some guidance. Beyond my ambition to avoid devastating surgery on my patient, I have grown worried about my own defenses. The words of my patient are deranged, yet they often resonate with something primitive within me. I have tried photographing his brain with x-rays. It was surprisingly difficult to get good results. Dark blotches on the plates kept obscuring all details. My patient looked at the bad plates and cried out in terror, telling me the dark areas was the shadow of the worm, eating him from inside. I could not see anything out of the ordinary. I hope this is a sign that my mind is not as receptive to the madness as I had feared. After further inquiry, my patient described the shadows inside his mind as some kind of chthonic monstrosity that wants to undermine his sanctuary. This is clearly a reference to a place he calls Teroea, a sort of library or convent that works as a psychological haven. With this imaginary haven threatened by this Chthonian, he has now constructed another less pleasant hiding spot. Lately, he has been bringing up a metaphor of a steamboat that has run aground, that he feels like he needs to start the engines and reverse, but he is afraid that the hole in the hull would cause the whole ship to sink. I've been watching him turn this metaphor into reality for the last week. He knows it's made up, but he is doubling down. Tr Emma left. I need the key. <sighs> I can't leave yet. I need to get Jeremy out of here.
Detective Combi, I'm terribly sorry that my niece has pulled you into this mess. Please, with all my blessings, take her away from this cursed place. I have destroyed that eater of worlds and locked it away in the attic and retreated to a place of hiding. Tell Emily I'm safe. Tell her all the lies you can think of to make her listen. Take her back to New Orleans. Sincerely, Jeremy. Brother, I need you to trust me. This is the most important moment in our family's history. I know you have doubts and that the terrible Mama Loa told you lies. I would never betray you. I promise. Lottie. How's your evening been going? Ups and downs, I suppose. <laughs> I hear that. We all live in the life of an elevator operator. Are you all right, sweetie? Do you want to see my mask, miss? I'm making it for St. John's. Uh, how did you... Is that supposed to be my... Ow! <sighs> you should learn your place, little girl. Why are you acting this way? What did I ever do to you? Grace! Grace! The man. I'll just borrow these. At least he's breathing. I'll just let him sleep it off. There's something missing. Jeremy knew that the only one who could help him now was the guest in room number... See, we already did all this stuff, but we're collecting all kinds of stuff now. Yeah, I'm sure he'd take his wallet. We took his keys at least. There's nothing else we can do with this. I think we're getting the remainders of the stuff in the mansion right now. Most of these rooms are getting cleared out now, so we have to go to the stairwell. Oh yeah, we need to go back up there, okay. There's still a lot of shit in here. The attic.
Ruth, are you there? No, of course not. Castle built the zoetrope as an exercise in animation. He is very interested in moving pictures and has even ordered an aeroscope camera. No, I'm not gonna have no lights alone in the dark. Why would I have a light on and playing a scary game? Duh. He will produce. For now, his zoetrope entertains me greatly. It's not the little man passing his head, while quite humorous, it's the spell of that flickering light as it rotates. I. Yeah, I mean, come on, that would kind of defeat the purpose here. Uh, the stairwell is right behind me, that's where we need to go. Hey, hey. What is going on here? Yeah, so everything changes every time I come through a room, it's crazy. Check the cash register. Oh. Uh, I really, yeah, I really like the atmosphere of this game, and since I, like I said, I turned on the performance mode, it really, it brought it out a lot. Now we get to go see what's down here. Yeah, I'm actually, I really can't wait to play it again with the, the detective, see how his story differs. this hmm. yeah some of us can play scary games in the dark over here buddy <laughs> some of us aren't scared okay what's this scapegoat Where are we at? Oh, we're in the infirmary now. Ooh, this should be good. Come on, baby. Yeah, this is a true survival horror game. Every door, oh shit. Um, every other door is locked. So you guys can check out the first couple of videos in quality mode and like check it out, but I just feel like it brought it out more. There's a lot of shit in here. Here's his x-rays. Here's a key. Surgery room. We don't got the box. Electrical fuse. What's in the box? Okay. Oh. Well, it took the fuse. I guess we need another one. Okay. 
hypothetical psychosurgery based on the ideas by Burkhardt and the St. Petersburg research could end up saving Jeremy's mind. Severing the connections around the frontal lobe would certainly solve most mental afflictions. The procedure would be brutal in performance, as well as in efficiency. An ice pick pushed through the edge of the eye and into the skull would untether the nerves like Alexander cutting the Gordian knot. As this would likely leave Jeremy in a very different condition, all other paths should first be explored. The medical instrument I would need for this lobotomy is missing and I should have Waits order a new one. Yeah, I was gonna say, didn't they actually used to do that to people? It's a lobotomy, right? Radiography. Patient Jeremy Hartwood. Date June 14, 1930. Plates. Jeremy's skull proved difficult to capture properly. Partial radiographs worked best. A complete picture of the brain can be assembled by piecing three plates together. Observations. Even when looking at an assembled version, a shadow covers significant parts of Jeremy's brain. Possible tumor, but more likely that the equipment is failing. Jeremy reacted All right. We get the gist. Jeremy's fucked up. Okay. Let's go back this way. Oh shit. What's happening? I don't know what's happening really. Dude, that re That reminded me of the movie Zombie. I don't know if anyone's ever seen that. It's like an Italian film that was ported over to here and it's spelled Z O M B I. It's crazy. It's like nineteen seventy nine, like one of the coolest zombie movies I've ever seen. But it's like in Italy, so they like have voiceovers. It's crazy. Okay. Oh, here's the lobotomy room. My other fuse. What's this? Okay. I gotta turn these lights back on anyway, right? I knew it was right here somewhere. There we go. Let's turn the power back on. Oh. Um. Everything has to be a puzzle, I swear to God. So let's do this one. So I'm like, kind of like, think this game's kind of cool because they just don't make games like this no more. They really don't. Like everything being a puzzle. 
Do they all need to be off? I usually just mess with shit until it clicks. There we go. can see his tumor. It's not a tumor. Okay. What happened here? Did the game freeze? nothing like I can't move nothing I can't do nothing uh, the buttons work I think it froze that sucks I don't want to restart it all right we'll be back <laughs> 